So I understand that um, I was the subject of a little story that was told by one of the Lubavitch people who came to speak at, at your shul the other day, and I was very happy to hear that from Raphael. Uh, what he said uh, was true. My wife and I were married uh, quite a while. Uh, we had a daughter, um, and um, we thought it would be nice to have another child, but the problem was my wife was 48 years old. 48 years old. It's not easy to have a child at 48. We went to a few doctors and they said, uh, there's, it's virtually impossible. You can't have a child. But we didn't tell anybody about it, but we tried. And every year we would go to see the Lubavitch Rebbe. We were close to the Lubavitch community. We would see the Rebbe at Fabrengen and at different occasions. And every year we would go during Hashanah Rava uh, to get a blessing and to get Lekach and and so this particular year, we were online and we saw the Rebbe, and out of nowhere he said, and I give you a blessing for an addition to your family within the next year. And my wife and I were shocked. How did he come to say that? No one knew. And how did the Rebbe say, why did he say that? And wouldn't you know that my wife was pregnant within the next month? And she gave, delivered and gave birth at 8, 48 years old and to this healthy, beautiful daughter. And we came back with the baby one year later, the next year at Hashanah Rabbah. A month later, she, after the blessing, my wife was pregnant. Nine months later, she delivered. Two months later, we come back to the Rebbe and, uh, and Eastern Parkway. And um, um, at Hashan, Hashanah Rabbah, we say, here is, yeah, and the, oh, the, before we say anything, the Rebbe says, I see you brought the addition to your family. He used the exact same words. And again, we were just startled and overpowered and shocked at how the Rebbe would remember those exact words. And, and I happened to say, and I think it's recorded, there's some videotape of this. I said, uh, well, thanks to you, Rebbe. And he shaked his head and said, no, it's Hashem. So it's a wonderful story. It's a story of blessing. It's a story of being positive, that anything can happen in life. And uh, you should always strive for whatever you want to do. You should dream and strive because nothing is impossible in life or in America. Zakabaru. <laughs> <laughs>